email. I want the email. So send me emails. I want the e e e mail. Yeah. Dear Colbert, of all the Sega games, which one do you hate the most? There's one. One Sega game I hate with a passion. But I can't just give it away because it laughs at me because I haven't beaten it yet. And every time I play that cursed game, the inner beast is released. I can tell from my looks. I hate this game. The show it's based off is awesome. The company it made is epic, but no, instead of getting a good game like Super Mario or something like that, we get this stupid. I'm just going to have to show you. Let's go back in time. The year was 1993. Steven Spielberg, the film master of such films as Jaws, The Close Encounter of the Third Kind, and one of the greatest movies of all time. E.T. The 1993 hit and Spielberg created a cartoon show to continue his fame that he got from the other cartoon show he made, Tiny Two Adventures. The great animated cartoon show, Animaniacs. Full name, Steven Spielberg presents Animaniacs. A show where three siblings, the Warner's brother and Warner's sister, Yakko, Wacko, and Dai all escape from the Warner's water tower and re chaos and cartoon destruction. And then the lovable goof cop Ralph was in charge of putting them back into the water tower. The show lasted 99 episodes. That was a total of 5 seasons. Which in cartoon time was a really long time. At the peak of its popularity, the Japanese gaming company Konami approached Mr. Spielberg to make a video adaptation of the show. The game came to three game consoles. The SNES, the Game Boy, and the Sega Genesis. I will be reviewing the Sega Genesis version with rankings by Game Rankings is the best of all three with a total point 71%. The other two shared the same rank of 51%. With such a good rank you think the Sega version would be an awesome one. But this game is nothing more than a shit stain on the Sega Genesis library that haunts my soul to this very day. But I will try and try and try again until I either win or flip the shit switch and snap this game in half. Huh. <sighs> the Animaniacs. What a great show. One of the greatest of our times. It was funny. It was stupid. It was stupidly funny. And finally stupid. It had a little perversion here and there, but it was funny. <sighs> Great show, great show, piece of shit game. I swear to God, I saw this at a store, I was like, Animaniacs? Animaniacs? What, what's that, what's that? Oh, that's Konami. Konami, Animaniacs? It's like a recipe for, for, for gold. For gold. But someone took that recipe, replaced gold with vomit, and the other gold with puke. So, now we got this stinking pile of shit. Yes, I said shit. Maybe if you're watching the censored version, you probably heard me say boop. But if you're not, I said shit. Let's play this stupid fucking game. Let's start. First, we see the Animaniacs character's name and all related in this Our trademark of Warner Brothers copyright 1994. Trademark and copyright 1994 Konami CO LTD licensed by Sega Enterprise LTD. Then we see the Sega logo and then the Konami logo with a nice rape of the ears with its bad pixelated music. Thank you for that. Then the Animaniacs pop up on the television screen and welcome you to this shit-sucking game.
Then we get the tile screen. Start, which starts the game. Password, that lets you skip parts of the game. Options, that lets you change shit like difficulty, controllers, and sound setting. Once you start, we get a cutscene that tells you the plot of the game. In short, we have to go to four different sets and steal props. Yes, stealing. You know, for kids. The four sets that we'll be running through are set one, The Adventures of Dirt Rugged 7, making a parody of Indiana Jones. Set two, Space Wars, making a parody of Star Wars. Set three, Swing em low, swing em high, making a parody of swing high, swing low. And set four, Blood Mass Part 32, making a parody of Friday the 13th. In total, there are six stages. The Water Tower stage, the four set stages, and then once you have all the items, you must steal one more item, the Felix statue, making a parody of the Oscar statue. Once you get them all, Pinky and the Brain steal the items, and you must try to beat them before they can take over the world. Let's go down the characters. Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. Yakko, the only one who can move boxes. The A button makes him do a paddle ball, the only weapon that can use against Ralph. B makes him jump, and C switches Yakko to Wacko. Wacko, A button makes him use a mallet that can clear objects, light bombs, and activate buttons. <laughs> B makes him jump, and C switches Wacko to Dot. Dot. The A button makes her use a heart attack that makes people fall in love with her, so she can clear them out of the way, use them as a platform, or stun them so the brothers can beat them up. And C button changing Dot to Yakko. Now, before we start the game, two things. I will not be talking through most of the game. I will only be talking during boss fights, cutscenes, and parts that piss me off. Number two, this is not a walkthrough. I will be cutting and fading to save time. If you want a walkthrough, please go somewhere else. Well, let's start the game. Holy fucking shit, what the fuck was that? Okay, why is this guy just standing in the middle of the set? Kick your fucking ass! I want you off the fucking set, you prick! Wait, how do I get past this part? We clearly see that there's no more platforms. I can't jump over this wall. Well, let me get this health plus thingy. Oh, what the fucking fuck. Well, thank you for fucking telling me that was there, dill hole. Ooh, a time plus. Wait, the fuck is going on? Oh, fuck no! It sent you all the way back to the fucking start? Well, I'm here. Um, there's a door here. And there's two switches. Um, do I activate both or one? 
Uh, I'm gonna do the first one. Fuck! Stupid fucking trap. Here is the first boss. And yes, out of the five bosses you must fight, Ralph is three out of the five bosses. This one's easy. All you have to do is change the wacko and hit the scale, sending the boulder hitting him right up into Ralph's ass. But as soon as he lands, rubble comes down and you must dodge it. Now, I'm awesome and beat this guy in no time flat. But you saw the bottom of the screen ping in the brain, bouncing. That's telling you that Ralph is coming down to your level and you must switch to Yakko, hit him with a paddle, and send his ass back up there. When Ralph is done, you get the hat. Yay! Well, when I went down the character list, I said, um, the A button for Dot would make people fall in love with her. But don't you think that's kind of a little sick? I mean, she's a furry cat? <coughs> Dog? <coughs> thing? Well, she's not a human. Weird ass furries. Wait, how does that work? The box, wouldn't it like fall off? Like due to gravity? Wait, how? How is a log falling perfectly down the fall? And you're standing on him. And you can see him moving. Wouldn't you fall off? Wait, what the fuck? If you're standing on a moving boulder, you're not gonna just stand there. You're gonna fall flat on your ass. Okay, Yakko's power is starting to really piss me off. If you're trying to attack Ralph with the paddle ball, and if you're anywhere near a box, instead of using the paddle ball, you start trying to move the fucking box and I get hit. Okay, just move along here. Wait, you jump into a lit cannon? Yes, a fucking cannon. I know this game is based off a cartoon, but that's just stupid. That wouldn't happen. This would. So, this is the awesome graphic of the 16-bit Sega? Wow, these graphics suck ass. I mean, what the hell is that? Or that? Or the fuck is that? Here is the second boss. And again, it's Ralph. This is where the bad controls really, really fuck you over. Here, you have to jump on panels. But as soon as you jump on them, you must jump again. Because if you don't, they will kick you off. And while you're trying to jump on these panels that keep throwing you off, Ralph is throwing all this stupid shit at you. Once you clear that part, you have to go through layers and layers of electricity and have to keep knocking Ralph off his ass. Note, you need to be Yakko since he is the only one who can fight Ralph. Once you finally get to the very top, you must go on a conveyor belt while Ralph is jumping and slamming his fat ass on the floor making shit drop on you. Once you hit him one time, he gets hit with the helmet, gets knocked out, and you get the helmet. Yay!
Okay, this shit is pissing me off. Controls in this game is horseshit. When you need to attack, you don't attack. When you need to jump, you don't jump. And when you need to change characters, guess what the fuck happens? They don't fucking work. Here is the third boss. Yet again, it's Ralph. But this is the last time you have to fight this asshole. But this is the hardest one. To this day, I have never been this part. This has many parts. First, you need to be wacko and hit a small pie thrower machine and try to hit Ralph who's pushing a train cart. He is throwing a hailstorm of pies at you. And you're going to get one flying at a time. The fuck? The people would ask me, why don't I just give away the game if I hate it so much? It laughs at me. It says I can't beat it. It knows I can't beat it. And I just can't stand that. So I will beat Animaniacs. After you hit him five times, yeah, five times. <laughs> Bullshit. You go on to the next part. Next room, take your time to get the ice cream cone. You're going to need it. Before you leave the room, change to Yakko because you need to push a box in the next room. Now this part, I just can't beat it because it's just too fast. So close. I was so close. It was just too quick. The human brain cannot react quick enough to this stupid fucking goddamn motherfucking dude. I'm done. Fuck this shit. Okay, you stupid piece of shit. Now it's time to die. Loser. Wait, wait. What was that? Loser, loser, you're a stupid loser. Heh 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 heh, you're a loser. Man, what a failure. Loser, 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 loser. You are a loser. Listen to me, you stupid pile of pixelated pig shit. I will beat you. You hear me? I will. And when I do, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh. You're gonna go crush your little body. Don't be in my toilet. I take a shit all over you. A nasty dumb shit all over you. All in your components. I'm gonna piss and shit all over you, you stupid son of a bitch. What the hell are you looking at? Play this piece of shit again. Well, stage four is the same bullshit crap. Well, I hate to say it, but this stage actually is my second favorite stage. My favorite would be have to be Star Wars. I mean, uh, um, um, Space Wars.
But unlike Space Wars, the boss here is even more harder than the third boss. So, fuck it. I'm just going to skip to the very last stage. Once there was a man named Oscar. This one is meh. Because it's one of the hardest stages, but the boss is a total fucking pushover. You don't want to know why? You want to know why? Because there is no boss. You jump in a car, drive for a while. Grab the Oscar, I mean him, Felix, and then you're done. Well, not done yet. Yes! Yes! I got it to the last boss! I finally got here. Oh, who am I fighting? Who am I fighting? Pinky and the Brain! Yes, Pinky and the Brain! Ooh. Now that, that, now that is actually cool. Fighting Pinky and the Brain! Pinky and the Brain! You saw it through all the video game. And he's like, eh, cool, hi, bye. But now they're like, oh, we here. Okay, so apparently you have to use Dot to make um, Pinky give you a bomb that's not lit. So then you have to switch to Yakko, push it next to the robot, then it turns to Wacko, smack the bomb, and just hope that he stands near it.
You know, I only have one thing to say. Just one. One EP thing. Yeah, what was it again? Uh, oh yeah. DIE! Hi, yes, I would like to order one slow and painful death! will never do a game with you ever again. Wait. What happened to the old microwave? I am sore! <sighs> Some people never learn. Home team! Ah!